Hey guys, welcome back to the Past Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to a video by Jay Waller. Check out this video. In every environment, winners are going to win. I often say I don't give a f who the president is. You could put Kamala Harris in there tomorrow. I don't give a f I'm still going to get up and go to work. Winners win every day. But losers will pay attention to who the president is and complain and self-check themselves out of a game that they could have won if they would have just got f work. And that's a shame. All right, Kirby. I like this video because... I noticed this a lot with people in workplace, people in family, you know, people I know, whatever, that I wouldn't say that they don't have anything going for them, but that, you know, they just have a regular job. And that's a big topic as to what determines their success, who's in office. So I saw a lot of truth out of what Jay Waller was saying just because I witnessed it myself from people, but what do you have on this? It was, I mean, what he said was spot on, first off, first and foremost. And a lot of things that Jay Waller say, I don't agree with 100% of you say, but a lot of things that he say is spot on. Um, but in this instance, this is, this is the epitome, and I'm going to speak for the black culture. Um, they they still believe in that their great white, great black, great brown hope is still going to come save them. Um, they they don't understand how politics, how any of this stuff works. They believe still believe in that the Messiah, the president, is the one that's going to change their life. They don't realize that voting you know local governments uh you know mayors city council and things like that have a bigger impact on their day-to-day -day life than any president would have uh i would sit here and be remiss if i say i didn't hear anybody ever say that and they're oh he the president now we're gonna get taxed to death oh he the president he only care about the you know he don't care about the poor people the president don't control your municipality. Your local government controls your municipality. The only thing that was affecting day-to-day -day life, I mean, day-to-day -day life, things that matter, a president can raise taxes, lower taxes, but he can't do it unilaterally. They need the support of state governments, which is called congressmen, senators, and um, house representatives to do something of that nature. Those are the important people that you need representing. A president or one being is not going to be the one that's going to be the end all be all. I mean, that's you know, growing up, I hear, oh, when Reagan was president, that we we had money, or when Bill Clinton was president, we had money. That one person was not the effect, the cause or effect of your economic cycle. Just that's not how it works. I mean. So going back to what Jay said, I've I've always lived that once I've, you know, escaped, you know, the housing, you know, being around the group of people that I grew up with, and that's was their mentality. And then I joined the military and then I started learning and educating myself more on how this stuff is actually done. Nobody controls the outcome. Nobody controls your outcome, I should say. So if you get up, work, and bust your ass every day, it don't matter, Democrat, Republican, Saddam Hussein, they could be president. It won't affect you. I'm just saying. I mean, if you want to get, if you want to make money, you can make money in any environment. I mean, people talk about, oh, Russia's a dictatorship, but it's billionaires in Russia. They talk about uh, Saddam Hussein was a terrible guy, but it's, Rich people in Iraq, rich people in Afghanistan. They could say they crooked or whatever, but I bet you those people that y'all see in the crooked are the people that got up every day and found ways to be crooked instead of sitting here complaining, worried about who the president was. I mean, I can speak. That's on simply how I look at it. I can speak on that What's too that? because I have uh, family or in laws, in law family, you know, sister in laws and stuff in Venezuela, which is a narco state communist dictatorship whatever you want to call it and right. i've showed my sister-in-law how to 
market for companies in the United States. So she runs Instagram pages for American companies. So the wage that she makes for doing work for them is a lot higher than what she could make in Venezuela. So just with the access to the internet, people can find opportunities. Right. So the president ain't controlling how much money she makes. Exactly. It's just, I, I believe that people want to be victims. Um, they want to be victims so they can have an excuse not to do nothing. And I think literally a lot of people, majority of people are looking for excuses to not do anything. The people that succeed, the people that successful are the ones that wake up and are not looking for an excuse. No matter how bad it gets, they find a way to persevere. But then magically, the same people that want to play victims want to blame the people that find ways how to persevere on the reason why they are in the condition that they're in. That's It's amazing to me that's how it always is. And I mean, even now, when I talk to family and friends, especially ones that lean far left or far right, they only want to talk about, oh, I don't have it because the president's taxing me too much or the president don't care about poor people and all that. And you talking to me, I'm, I'm living in the same neighborhoods, the cities, the states that you live in. So why why is this person, this president not affecting what I'm doing? Because everybody just want to be a victim. It's easier to be a victim and have an excuse than it is to get up, lace up your bootstraps and go get your ass out there and make it happen. And people just not built like that. They just want to say, hey, I got a job and uh, I just hope they don't take all my money and taxes and Social Security and all this other crap. Instead of going out there trying to find a way, first learn the system to try to find a way to beat the system. And then they just sit there stuck. And then they rather complain to Alex and hope Alex, because he's not listening, you know, he's not trying to be a victim, hoping Alex is, you know, be the next Joe Biden and bail him out of their situations. And that's how I really look at it. But what he said was, uh, Jay, what Jay said was absolutely on point. And people need to get out of that victim mentality, but they won't. And because they won't, it just makes more opportunities for the people that's going out there to go get it. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And that's something that we see a lot in different videos. People are always talking about that. And we did a reaction on that to uh, Dana White, where it's just more and more people have that mentality. And as you were saying, the only thing that determines if someone is going to make more is their drive to make more and sure. i say that this uh that i can understand this video because just people at work and especially i've i've heard this and i don't know if you've heard this but oh when so and so was in office my checks were bigger like because taxes were changed or whatever like but why are you only my mentality is why would you only depend on a paycheck from from a company? Why not look for other sources of income? Like if you're going to just rely on one paycheck, then yeah, okay, then whatever government you're under is going to dictate your income just like it would in Venezuela. The minimum wage over there is $7 a month, but there's people making way more than that. And it's because like say my sister-in-law found ways to make money outside of Venezuela that you just have to apply yourself and depending on how bad you actually want it you know will determine how much you're going to make and how many sources of income you're going to end up finding and like you said I've heard many people in the workplace say that when President X or President Y or President Z was in office I had more or less money out of my paycheck but they don't realize it's not the president who did it. You had to have local government senators and House representatives vote to align with what they was doing. That's what it is. I mean, we here in Florida, but states got, you know, state income tax and things like that. What state representatives you 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 uh elect in to keep raising your state income tax? I mean, people in California. They must be just voting blind and just saying tax me to oblivion because now their state income tax is, I think, 12 to 14 percent. It's crazy. And then you still got the federal, you know, max out at 37 percent. If you add those together, you almost like 52 percent. And that's not even 
including, you know, FICA, Social Security, and all that other crap that they take out. So in this world and day and age, people that especially living in New York's and California's, once you take out all those big lump sums of deductions from uh, taxes and what have you, God forbid you still put money in a 401k, you got to make a choice. Do I want to live for today or live for tomorrow? What I mean by that is, do I, should I not invest in a 401k or invest in wealth IRAs or something like that so I can have money when I'm older and no job? If I do that, then I'm going to have less money today to actually live and survive. Or do I, or do I not invest for the future so I can live today? But then when I turn, you know, 65 and older, then I don't have any money and then I'm still homeless. And that's the dilemma that most states are in. But the most people are in those conditions because of the local government, not who the president was. And, you know, that's that's how I look at it. Exactly. And with all that being said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.